So, just off the top of my head, got that Baylor call. Called it oh, them over Gonzaga from like mid-season on my YouTube over a month ago. I thought Iowa was going to be in it though, so I thought Iowa was going to be on the other side of both of those. Ended up on the same side as Gonzaga. Now, what you got to look at is the connection between the Super Bowl champs, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, and that Baylor-Gonzaga game. So, 21-5 and five was key, okay? Patrick Mahomes' record, he stayed on 21 wins, and he got his fifth loss. You also got to think about the coach for the Chiefs, Andy Reid. At the end of the season, he had 221 wins. Now, I noticed that 21, it's connected to Saturn Energy. We're also in the year of 2021. I know that's kind of an obvious thing, but that 21 was huge. Okay, it's also 12 backwards, which is Brady. Okay, the GOAT. Now, Gonzaga and Baylor were both, they both originated in GOAT years. The GOAT year, all right? I know we're the, in the year of the ox. Um, so, Mark Fuse ended up getting his 125th loss. Scott Drew... Baylor coach stayed on 215 losses. Uh, Mark Fuse got his 21st tournament loss. Um, all time, Baylor against Gonzaga head to head. Baylor went one and five. Okay, now that connects one five. Kind of makes me think of 15. Patrick Mahomes, number 15, stayed on 21 wins, fifth loss. So there you go with that as well. Also, connecting it to Brady, he had his 45th playoff uh, game this this year to win the Super Bowl. Uh, Baylor got its 1,405th win all time. But to go back to that 15, that 1-5, also backwards, that's Gianna Bryant, 5-1. And if you realize the Super Bowl 54 ended up with, what was it, 51 points. Um, Gianna Bryant's birthday, 5-1, May 1st. 51 is like a huge prime number. The total score of the game ended up being 86 to 70. Okay? Now I had posted something on my Facebook about Elgin Baylor died at 86 he got 86 if you don't if you've ever worked in a restaurant you know what 86 is it means you get taken off the menu um and it happened to be on 322 which is skull and bones day march 22nd it was also 86 years six months six days to the date uh and they put out a story which i had posted on my facebook as well um, I probably should have posted on my YouTube that Lady Gaga lost her bulldogs, got her bulldogs stolen. All right, so they kind of told you that the bulldogs and the and the uh, the the, ba the Baylor Bears were going to be, you know, in the big show. But back to that. 21 and 5. Mark Fuse got his 125th loss. Scott Drew got his 200, stayed on 215 losses. Their last game that they, they were supposed to play was on December 5th. 12 5. There goes that 1 2 5 again. Also, Gonzaga was ranked in the AP polls for 291 weeks. Now, 1901 is the 291st prime and just something I happen to be paying attention to because I called it uh, not on YouTube but I called it elsewhere it is on my Facebook that Conor McGregor was going to go 19 and 1 which is what he did and got his first knock he got knocked out for the first time ever so a dog won and knocked out Conor McGregor, 19 and one, 
just like the Gonzaga Bulldogs were ranked in the AP polls for 291 weeks, the 19 and 1901 prime, 1901st prime. Now on the other side, you got the Baylor Bears were ranked in the AP polls for 156 weeks. Now that's the 156. That's the 900, uh, 911th, 156th prime is 911. Okay, so if you think about 911, 911, and this is the good one. The score of the game was 86 to 70, a total of 156 points. There you go. Wild, right? 156 points. The ranked Baylor's ranked in the AP polls. Uh, 156 weeks. Now, what you also got to realize is the Baylor Bears. It was their 115th season. It was also their 13th tournament. 13 is a lucky number for the underdog, okay? Gonzaga actually lost against the spread and went 13-1 and against St. Mary's week 14 when they were 13-0, and 13-1. and The underdog actually beat them against the spread. Just like the Jets went 1-13 before they actually beat the Rams. But back to that 115th season, Tom Brady has 115 away all-time away wins and actually 50 losses just like the five that we've been seeing the Buccaneers went 11 and 5 for the season this year 115 is huge if you uh, pay attention you would have seen that everywhere so I connect all champions together I don't just look for one riddle and just run with it because it's something that happened in history and you think it's going to repeat. I connect it to everyday events and I connect it to history and I connect it to relevant numbers that keep popping up over and over. Something simple. Um, I believe the Gonzaga got their 703rd loss, something about 703, 7-3. And Tom Brady, he's 7-3 and in Super Bowls. And how old is LeBron James this year? 37. Also, I have the Lakers winning this year and LeBron James being five and six in finals. Just like this NCAA has a total of 156 points. Just like, uh, I guess you could kind of say backwards, um, the Buccaneers went 15 and five. Or 65, 56, 5 and 6, if you numerology redu reduction. Uh, if I dug even deeper or had enough time to, to chat, I could probably give you, you know, another hour's worth of numbers that would line up. And the more I dig, the more stuff will line up. Um, but 21 is something you need to be watching out for, and 5 as well for uh, what's going on. Also, there's something going on with the 92 or the 29. Happened with the Dodgers, happened with a lot of people end up sticking on 29 or 92. Same thing happened uh, this time as well. Well, word, there's a few things just right off the top of my head.